So my name is Jonah Brooker Cohen. I teach up in the Bronx at Lehman, but I'm an artist and designer, and I'm gonna talk today about projects relating to subverting digital experiences. Some work that I've done. I have some stuff out in the lobby you can check out as well, and we'll talk about that later. Um, I'm on Twitter, and that's my website, Coin Operative. So this is an earlier project of mine called Crank the Web. Um, we all look for faster bandwidth, so this is actually a crank where you actually have to manually download your email by hand or your um, website, so it forces you to be physical about an internet connection. This was an installation at Otis in 2010. And so I'm really interested in how we can add that physicality back to something like something that's automated, like the web. Another physical aspect um, of the web is that we get hits on websites. So this is actually a physical hit counter. This is a jackhammer that starts destroying a building every time the building's website gets a hit. So it's a physical kind of hit counter. It also shows the, the, the differences between physical and online spaces. I'm also doing a lot of work related to data viz, and this is a project that I did um, called Police State that controls uh, 20 remote control little mini police cars that are all kind of responding to network traffic that have to do with terrorists or terrorism words. So anytime something like that is found on the network, they move the cars. Um, also interested in, in showing real-time data, and so this is a series of bags and shirts that I designed that have to do with um, Twitter hashtags that are actually telling you what's happening in real time as you're using them. And so this is uh, called Too Heavy For Me. It's a bag that you can't carry that much. Um, also looking at uh, Wi-Fi, I designed a set of software. This was while I was at iBeam as a resident. Um, I did a project called Wi-Fi Liberator that takes paid Wi-Fi and turns it into free Wi-Fi and then it lets you share it with the public so that they can actually, um, kind of like the Robin Hood of Wi-Fi, grabbing that. In data sets as well, data visualization, um, this is another project I did called Killer Root that looks at how we can add social aspects to things like GPS. So this takes crime rate and crime rate data and maps it to GPS and takes you on the most dangerous route through a city through your GPS. So you actually have to like force yourself to see those parts. Also looking at social media, I did a project called Please Don't Like This that looks at it's a web page that does not want to be liked, so it forces you to try to stop from clicking that button, which we all do so often. <laughs> so this, uh, this shows you the number of people that failed the test. Um, looking at Wi-Fi, there's something that Wi-Fi that does that doesn't, uh, Wi-Fi doesn't really tell you much about your local environment, so we built a router that actually um, broadcasts the weather as your Wi-Fi data, so it looks online to see where it is, and then it finds the data and then creates a network based on that, that data as well. Oh, this is a blank screen. Hey, cool. Oh, no, there we go. So <laughs> I recently had a show at the Whitney in a, in a big exhibition called Program. I uh, did a project called America's Got No Talent, which was a Twitter visualization of American reality TV shows, like American Idol. So it draws the American flag, and each stripe on the flag is a reality TV show that fills up with data. So I'm interested in like how the computer is actually challenging us to take information away from us. This is an article from da David Brooks in the New York Times. He talks about information age and how data and kind of the information is supposed to actually show us more, but in the reality it makes us, it realizes that you know, we actually have to know less in this age because machines take over our brains. And so we're actually not needed as much as we used to be. It is typically the case around memory. And so I built an app project last year that looks at this, and it's an app called Contact Rot. And it basically is an iPhone app that starts destroying contacts you don't contact enough. So it forces you to remember these phone numbers. Phone number, numbers get deleted, names get deleted. So it actually forces your brain to do the things that we used to do all the time. Uh, the project that I brought here to um, Creative Tech Week is called um, Printcade. It was initially installed um, in Berlin at Transmediale. It's a great festival for those that don't know about it. And we were looking at how recycled components could be kind of brought back to life. And so it's an arcade system that's made with an old printer. You can try it out for yourself out there. And an old joystick and kind of old recycled parts. And it's really about kind of taking kind of you know unused, discarded electronics and bringing them into something new. And it's part of a workshop that I run I've been running over the last like 15 years called Scrapyard Challenge, where we kind of get people to design new interfaces out of junk, things that were discarded and put away, and kind of create new digital experiences from that. And I'll be running kind of another workshop like this uh, this summer about kind of game interfaces from junk components. These are some shots from uh, Printcade showing at Maker Faire uh, last uh, September, I think. Yeah, so, so I'm all about kind of what happens when you know, you take discarded materials, you take kind of um, different, different thoughts on things and kind of reinvent them. So thank you guys. Um, more info about the workshops, subscribe to our challenge and a lot of my projects at CoinOp. So thanks. Cool.